Good morning. We are here in uh, sunny Nashville. It's great that it's sunny now, but it wasn't sunny when we rode in here. Um, we're starting week three of riding tomorrow. My good friends Brian and Cal are here from LA. Well, he's actually here at the leisure of the United States government. Although you're a citizen now. <laughs> I'm a citizen he's now. He's a half Brit. So I'm a citizen now. He's a half Brit. I'm he allowed to He became out. an American very, very recently, so he's still on the like suspicious list. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, these guys are really good friends of mine. We ride together all the time in LA. Um, usually I'm looking at their back wheels and um, and the only way I can keep up with them is by riding for two weeks straight and then getting them out here for the third week. And then I only have a slight chance. Um, so we are going to the Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt University today um, to hang out with cancer kids and their parents. And um, I'm really excited about this because I love Nashville. It's a really cool town. There's so much culture here and there's so many real people here. Usually when we think of the entertainment business, um, we think of New York or LA. Nashville is obviously a very important city, particularly in music. Um, and it has this weird thing about it in that, unlike New York or LA, it's like a real place. And uh, there's trees here and there's long roads without houses on them, um, sort of right in the city. And uh, it's kind of weird for my brain to understand that there's a huge music business infrastructure in a place that's not, um, well, you know, LA is not known for being the most genuine. So, um, but we love it. You, yeah. I love LA. Yeah, we ride the carbon fiber bikes. What are we talking about? <laughs> Who cares about authenticity? Um, our dedication today is to a very special little girl. Her name is Ella Harker, and she's going through uh, a very, very important ultrasound today to determine the effectivity of her chemo treatment. Uh, these are big days for cancer kids, for their parents, their siblings. Um, uh, Ella is 16 months old, so she doesn't have like classmates uh, or schoolmates yet. But for the entire community of a cancer kid, um, there are benchmarks, there are signposts, and those things are usually um, um, surgeries and uh, imaging, so imaging is, uh, you know, uh, ultrasounds, MRIs, CAT scans, the things that allow the, the doctors to actually see whether um, the chemo and radiation that they're administering on the body um, is actually having an effect on, on the tumors in the child. Um, Ella uh, has stage one Wilms tumor. Um, Wilms tumor is a, is a form of pediatric cancer where a tumor forms on a child's kidney or kidneys. Uh, in Ella's case, she only has Wilms tumor on her left kidney. Um, by comparison, my son Pablo had it on both kidneys. Um, and so, you know, the disease is, is somewhat um, different, even though the name Wilms tumor covers a, a large group of, of, uh, of cancers. Um, we are, uh, we are wishing Ella and her family the absolute best today. We're filming this video as early as we possibly can on a day off so that we can get it up on the internet um, in the hopes that they'll see it before they go in for their ultrasound today. Um, I'll tell you the ultrasound um, is, is for some kids, um, and I don't know for Ella since she's 16 months old, she's probably right on the verge of, of this being fun or not, but I think sometimes Pablo actually enjoyed his ultrasounds because they put the um, gel on the on the skin and then they put the ultrasound wand right on the body, but the gel is warm, so it's actually um, compared to an MRI or a CAT scan, which I'm, you know, we all know what those things look like. They're, they're like giant space age machines that you actually go into. Um, those can be really frightening for kids, even even after dozens of visits to those rooms. An ultrasound um, is, is, a, is a much different, much faster uh, thing, and sometimes they use, um, they actually have the audio sound thing up on the, on the uh, unit and you can hear the sounds inside the body. Um, ultrasound rooms are much calmer. Um, it's usually just like a nice warm room with a, um, with a tech. Uh, and, and in my experience, the ultrasound techs that we had at CHLA were always very sweet people and very um, 
I always want to think they're they're always very calm. It was always a pleasant thing to go down there. Um, so today we are hoping very much that Ella has a nice calm time, and that she might um, laugh when they um, put the gel on her belly because it, I always remember that it, it kind of tickled Pablo sometimes, um, and and it ended up being like a very a very minor procedure for him. Um, we will let you know as soon as we know. Uh, what her um, scan result is today, uh, providing that her parents pass that information along to us. So if we find out by the afternoon dedication, I'll let you know. And if we find out by the evening dedication, I'll let you know there. So please um, hold Ella in your hearts today. And um, we'll see you next from Vanderbilt Children's Hospital in downtown Nashville. So see you later.